Hey everybody, it's Jim. I'm back again with an unboxing video for you. And today I have the December's Marvel Collector's Core uh, theme this month is the X-Men. So right there you got Wolverine himself uh, on the top of the box. X-Men there on the side. Super excited for this. I've actually made it um, this whole time without seeing any spoilers until today. So today I actually I was on a collector site on Facebook and some guy had posted a couple of uh, pop figures and uh, something else that was for sale. And as I'm looking at them, I'm like, wow, those are awesome. I've never seen those before. And then I see the little uh, Marvel Collector's Core sticker down the corner. So I was like, I made it almost, almost made it, I guess, uh, because I got the box today and now I've already seen the spoilers. So, but I'm super excited, even with that said, to see what else is in here. Plus, the one item that did get spoiled for me today, I'm so stoked about. So awesome. So, as usual, you always have the comic art on the inside. Right there, you've got uh, a lot of the Wolverine pictures. Wolverine on a motorcycle. You got Cyclops up there. Um, always great artwork and detail. And then let's see, we have the pin and the patch. Looks like uh, Storm's on the patch. And the pin is actually, okay, the pin is actually Magneto's helmet. So you see that right there. Magneto's helmet. And Storm on the patch. Very nice, very nice. Inside, whoops. Inside. I'm so stoked. Um, we've got the card for next month. Okay, we've got the comic first, and it looks like it is a variant edition of Champions number one with the Funko Cyclops on the cover. I don't know anything about the uh, the new release of the Champions. I don't know what the storyline is or anything about that, but it's always cool to get the variant covers with the, the pop figures on there. So that's, that's always good. Uh, the T-shirt for the X-Men is probably Wolverine or something like that since they are getting ready to release that uh, new Wolverine movie in 2017. No, actually, this is just, this is rad as I'll get out. I'm loving this. Xavier, oh my God, Mr. New York. And it says on the, uh, on the seal, Xavier School uh, for Gifted Youngsters. That is awesome. I love the t-shirt where you've got the collar and the sleeves all uh, lined in black. That is awesome. Oh, this is even better. So it says Xavier School for uh, Gifted Youngsters, 1963. So of course, 1963, that's when the first issue of X-Men came out. Uh, that's actually also the um, year that the Avengers came out too. But not only that, it's the year that I came out. <laughs> Uh, anyway, that's a great shirt. Love that. Definitely wear that. A lot of times the t-shirts can be hit or miss for me, but that one is actually a super home run. Uh, let's do this small one. I actually saw what this one was today, too. It bums me out that I know what it is, but um, there is another uh, figure company out there that's called Rock Candy. Most notably, they've done like a lot of the uh, Harley Quinn and Batgirl and Supergirl um, figures. They're more of a, uh, a sexier hash, uh, rehash of the characters. So this one is, of course, Mystique. Um, Rock Candy, I'm not so into. I know that they just released a bunch of Marvel characters. I think there's like the uh, the female Thor, the female Captain Marvel, um, the Mystique. And there was another one. I don't remember what it was. I myself, I would like to have seen the Storm, and I don't know if there is one of Storm or not. But I just think with the... Uh, the way that these rock candy uh, figures are, Storm's hair could have been really, really cool with this figure. I mean, it's not a total uh, washout by any means, but Mystique is, eh, whatever. So anyway, got the rock candy figure, and now, God, I hope this isn't messed up. So I saw this picture today, like I said, and I was absolutely blown away with it, and my box is in excellent shape. Get a little of this. This is awesome. It's a ride pop Wolverine on his motorcycle. How cool is that? That is so awesome. They're getting ready to release, I think, uh, 
a few of the Wolverine characters, uh, like I said, getting ready for the, the new Wolverine movie that's coming out. And so most of the characters look like this. I think there's a couple of different variants. They're going to be Hot Topic exclusives. Um, that, that, that's pretty much what they're going to look like. And I'll tell you, I don't normally do this, but I have to open this up. I have to see this. I'm sorry. I know some of you are out there screaming right now saying, no, don't open it, but I'm sorry. I just have to. I can count on one hand probably the number of pop figures that I've actually opened. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. That is so cool. The detail on the motorcycle. It's just, I mean, there's actually mud. Can you see that? There's mud sprayed up on the frame of the motorcycle. It's got the X-Men license plate. Uh, is that going to focus or not? I don't think it is. It says X-Men on the plate. You know, you got a sleeping bag rolled up there. The wheel doesn't, front wheel doesn't turn. The forks don't turn. But it is awesome. Absolutely awesome. And Wolverine actually comes off. So this must be actually one of the pops that they're getting ready to release, I'm sure. He's got the jacket, you know, he's got the one hand perched on the, uh, the grip of the motorcycle and the other one got the claws out ready to go. And there's the bike again. This is actually going to go up on display. This is so cool. Where his leg was, you can see it's actually got the skull and the crossbones. And it's kind of like a pop, a pop, uh, a Funko Pop skull. That is awesome. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. Nice job, Funko. You did a good job there. So, I will definitely be displaying that. That is just, that's too cool for words. And, and actually it sits up. So, the kickstands are down. And it actually just sits up really well on its own. So that's awesome. Loving it. Loving it. And that's all in this box. So um, the card, of course, it's Mystique. The Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters t-shirt. Uh, the Storm Patch. Magneto Helmet Pin. The uh, Funko Pop Ride with uh, Wolverine. And the Champions variant number one. So... It's the same for everybody as uh, as normal on the Marvel Collector's Core box. It's absolutely killer. Knock this one out of the park. Next month's or February's theme will be superhero showdowns. So I'm not sure what that's going to entail. The, the actual card shows Captain America and a slightly more buff Red Skull than I remember. So I'm not sure what's up with that or uh, what they could possibly put in the box now, um, except maybe Captain America and Red Skull. I'm not sure. What are some of your favorite superhero showdowns in the past? Gosh, I don't know. Spider-Man and Tarantula? I mean, that's a famous one from that cover. Um, let me know in the comments section what you'd like to see. So anyway, I'm thinking maybe a double, a double uh, Funko Pop collection of the villain and superhero. Who knows? We'll see. Excited for February already. Um, I guess that's it for this box. I think I uh, I teased on my last video that I had a Stan Lee box coming. And it is a Nerd Block exclusive Stan Lee box. And so I forget what the price is on it, but there's supposed to be 10 exclusives in it. Yada, yada, yada. Why don't you think they're shipping these until January now? So um, there's still plenty of time to get that. But I did see a video today from my friends over at Jamco. Um, if you don't know who they are, they do great unboxing videos. I'll put a link down below uh, to their channel. They actually did an unboxing for the official Stan Lee box. So Stan is actually doing a bi-monthly box himself. You can go to stanleebox.com to order it. And let me tell you, the contents of this thing will blow your mind. Um, super nice uh, products in there. I'm almost afraid to order it, though, because I'm afraid that maybe some of that stuff might be in the first uh, Nerd Block Stan Lee box. So if you're not confused by that, Thank you so much, because I think I've just confused myself. But anyway, there's two Stanley boxes. Check out Zamco, Jamco's uh, link down below. And also subscribe, too. Uh, tell them uh, just the guy sent you. I'd appreciate that. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so. It helps a lot. And please hit that like button also. And uh, I think that's probably going to do it for me for 2016. Please uh, have a wonderful holiday to you and your uh, families. And we'll see you in 2017 doing a lot more unboxings and movie reviews. So, but for now, I got to go because you know why, right? You know, that's all I got for you.